I have a ministry where I give out free Bibles, sometimes free clothes, shoes, and stuff like that. If you are interested, you can help me out. You can donate money to me, clothes, shoes, Bibles, stuff like that. So if you are interested, please contact me about that and that is going to be really good. Before I get to my main point, let me say this. We are here to help others. Now, it is good for us to do our own thing and stuff like that, but if you really want to please God, we have to look after other people. I know that your church may not speak about this. I know this may be the first time of you hearing this, but we have to look after other people. And this is what I want to do more. I am doing it now but I want to do it much more. So let me get to my point. Let's go to Proverbs 26 and four. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. My Lord, answer not a fool according to his folly. Least thou also be like unto him. I know that many of us, we have met people or been around people that speak in a foolish way, as if they are trying to bait you into an argument. Like, if they need help, why not come to you and ask in a polite way? No, <laughs> they'd rather come to you, <laughs> look at you crazy, and expect you to read their mind or... <laughs> I have no idea. And sometimes that may really irritate people. So what they do, they may say something back out of frustration. Then it begins into an argument, something that person may want. That initial person that came to you in a foolish matter, manner, they may want a fight. They may be trying to beat you into something that is not right by God. As I state in my other videos, or some of them, the best thing to do is to not say anything because that is going to cause much more confusion. Some people, listen, I believe I said this already, but many people are going through pain, mental anguish. They are depressed. They are going through problems. Sometimes these problems are rooted back in their childhood. And I am not saying this is a good reason for them to act in the way that they are acting now. I am not saying that. It is unacceptable for them to act in the way that they are acting now. Believe me. But sometimes people can't really see themselves. They may see the faults or the issues in other people, but it can't see themselves. This is the reason why 
if I am doing anything wrong, I am open to hear from other people. Hey, tell me what I am doing wrong. Of course, I am going to judge it based upon what the word of God says, but tell me if I am doing something wrong because I don't want to believe that I am doing right, but in truth, I am doing wrong. So I don't shut off my ears when someone says that I may be doing something wrong. I, I am willing to hear that person out unless they begin to say demonic things, which <laughs> some people do. And there are some people that have told me that I was doing something wrong or saying something wrong. And I learned that, yes, they are right. I was doing something wrong and I had to repent of it. I have no problem with saying sorry to you. I have no problem with repenting. If you can prove that I am doing or saying something wrong, please tell me because there is no reason for me to continue to walk on in ignorance and potentially be sent to hell for it. No, <laughs> tell me what I am doing wrong so I can change or have the choice to change. Some people are so prideful to where even when you tell them that they are wrong and they know that they are wrong, they are not willing to change. I don't want to be that way. No way. So to get back on point, this is telling you when someone foolish comes to you baiting you for an argument or just speaking foolish in general, and this happens to me every so often, don't say anything. What I do when I know that someone is coming to me in a demonic way like this, I pray about it. What I do, I ask God, no, I say I bind and cast out any demon or worker of darkness that's trying to create strife between me and that other person. Um, I also say, whatever demon that is hindering either myself or that other person, I bind and cast it out right now. And then I say, my interactions between me and that person, everything is going to go well. There is not going to be any fights, no arguments, no misunderstandings. Everything is going to be done in peace, peace and love. No hatred, no bitterness, no, no one trying to frustrate each other. Let everything be straight. So I pray when I have to interact with difficult people. And this is what you have to do as well. You have to pray before you meet up with difficult people. And it works. And I recommend you to do it every day. It works. Sometimes people just have mood swings. Very like you never know what type of mood a person is going to be in. We know that is not of God, <laughs> that is demonic. So fighting with a human is not going to solve anything. You have to battle against the demon or demons 
within that person or yourself. Spiritual warfare. So I pray that this makes sense. Be wise. Don't be so quick to argue and fight and all this stuff here. No. When it comes down to demons, fighting and arguing <laughs> is not going to work. It is not. It is going to confuse matters much worse, my Lord. So pray it out. You battle against demons with prayer and fasting. Not with trying to explain yourself to someone that is being influenced by demons. That is not going to work. Trust me. In some cases it may, but overall, no. It is not going to work. You battle against the demons with prayer and fasting. That is going to work. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.